To be an artist is to be alive. Art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. They say that art is in the eyes of the beholder and that art can console one whose life has been broken. Today we're going to take you into the mind of a creative artist. On this episode of the Caribbean Network. Caribbean Network, where we highlight Caribbean-owned businesses here in the Metro Atlanta area. Today, we've partnered with Caribbean Clothing and CLTV Studios to bring today's episode. Today, we bring you our extraordinary Caribbean talent, Miss Andrea McKenzie, award-winning artist, mixing media artist, owner, founder of Andrea Unique Art, where her stunning pieces are infused with the essence of her Caribbean roots and culture. Welcome Andrea. Thank you, thank you for having me. No problem. <laughs> so Andrea, how are you? And you can just tell our audience a little about yourself, your background, your heritage and... Well, I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is actually a big, uh, was a big carnival person. He owned legends. You know, they won Band of the Year five times, you know. My whole history is that my family uh, is heavily into the arts, mm -hmm. fashion designers, painters, whatnot. And my grandmother was also an artist and pianist. So from an early age, I kind of, you know, learned to build costumes and make certain things, but art has always been a natural talent for me growing up. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Seems like art just streams in your DNA. It, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always in awe of people who have a knack for creativity, specifically those who could freestyle their crafts. What part of your life would you say took you down this career path of art? Like what specific time frame? What triggered that to take what you down that path? triggered that was yeah. that I was working in an alcohol company mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and um, I got fired okay. <laughs> at that point. <laughs> right, right. But you know, you got fired and at that moment you're asking yourself, what the hell am I doing with my life? Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. I mean, it starts to get complacent. Mm -hmm. You start to do the same thing. Right. You see everyone moving on with their life, mm -hmm. you know, doing different things and you feel stuck. Right, right. So I remember walking out of that compound in heavy tears. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm such a failure. Mm -hmm. But then I always used to um, like paint mm -hmm. and create, be creative quietly, right. you know, on my own. And I started to do that and I was like, God, you know, I really want to leave Trinidad. I want to, you know, I just needed a fresh and new. New start. And I didn't know how to do that. Yeah. I tried to be a flight attendant, a big fail. <laughs> I started to paint and then one evening my dad came over and I was like, Dad, you know, I've been painting. And he looked at my collection mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he was like, let's do an exhibition for you. Let's, you know, yeah. start to pursue that. And I was like, are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else was like, you know, art is cool, but you really want to do that? Because yeah. Is it sustainable? Are you going to, you know? But that's what he vision. Yes. Right. That's one thing with him. Mm -hmm. He didn't really care. He was like, if this is what you're going to do. Like, Supportive, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. Cool. That's where it starts. All right, boom. <laughs> So the name of your company alone speaks volumes and you come from a place that has a lot of amazing artists. How can you say that your art is unique compared to others? Well, it's unique here. <laughs> <laughs> it's also unique because of the materials I use, you know, crushed glass, diamond dust. I just mix it up. Um, 
paint, feathers, you know, I just do what I feel. So I really try to bring my culture on there. Now people paint Caribbean things in different ways, you know, they might paint landscapes and stuff like that. And that's cool, but I like to be different. I yeah. like to paint expressions and people and, you know, movement, like, like I say, so. So that's, I guess, that's where the, the, the carnival come in, eh? Of course, yeah. <laughs> must bring in the carnival. Must bring a team. And as well, you know, people are drawn to my story. Right, my yeah. My background, mm -hmm. me, you know, an accent. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, it, it helps. It's actually intriguing to the art that I create. So it's also an entire package. As right, well. right, right, right. So the entire brand. Brand, yeah. Definitely, yes, definitely. Yes. So us being from the Caribbean, you know, and Trinidad and Tobago, right? Like our culture is heavily influenced from Africa, Indian, and also ind indigenous, we call Amerindians in Trinidad, right? From our food, our day-to-day -day movements and life, our, our music. Yeah. What would you say those cultures or those traditions have on your creative process? And how does those traditions and cultures impact your process? Well, me coming from uh, not only a heavily cultural and diverse country, mm -hmm. but also a family. Right. Like my mom is, you know, Indian and my dad is black. And yeah. Then you have some white up inside there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's both really mixed up. So creating pieces, I try to incorporate a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, also on my social media, I try to show people different aspects of me. Right, so, yeah. Um, to make sure that it's reflected in my art like some kind of way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. For instance, if I do a piece with feathers or stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, it always um, gets people thinking. Right. And then when they speak to me and mm -hmm. then when I educate them about the Caribbean and Trinidad, yeah. a lot of people actually don't know much yeah. about our island. Y which so is, correct, I mean, so correct. I come from there, so yeah. it's a little crazy. But yeah. Uh, you know, so that's that's the approach I try to, to take with it. And mm -hmm. also as well, um, I will have like ask me a question Tuesdays in my stories. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they will ask good questions. Right, right. You know, I, I try to show them, you know, when they ask good questions mm -hmm. just to educate them about the culture. Yeah. And say, hey, you know, you might see me in a sari one day you right. see me in you know, Africa and the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That diverse, yes. you know. So it's interesting as you say that though, like being from Trinidad and taking going into the the, the um the part that you're in, like creating your brand, you're also like an ambassador for the country as well. Because like when you speak about your art and your brand and stuff, you're also educating people who don't know where Trinidad is about our culture and everything of that sort. It's it's, it's crazy when you look at that. I feel like if I'm bridging the gap between, you know, Trinidad and other countries. Mm -hmm. so I'm entertaining and educating at the same, same time, time, yeah. You know, so when they ask me questions or they yeah, just stick a little piece of the culture. Because yeah. They're inquisitive as well. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. How did you learn to do this? Right. You know, how did you, you know, and um, to us, when you're constantly doing something over and over and over, it comes like nothing. For real. Like natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's an awesome in-depth look right there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the team at the Caribbean Net Worth and many of our viewers, you come from very humble beginnings. Your work and joy has been featured in the Mayor's Office of Atlanta. You have also collaborated with world-renowned artists like Akon. You work with actresses like Sydney Sweeney from the HBO show Euphoria. What is the ultimate goal that you wish to accomplish with your work? Um, honestly, I feel like if step by step through my career now, it's getting there and that is really to aspire people and show people that you could do whatever you put your mind to and um, to also show them as well because I do find in Trinidad mm -hmm. that they focus on sports mm -hmm. more yeah. than creativity yes, and yes. there's so many creative people like it's crazy and I'm not even seeing only Trinidad I'm seeing across the board yeah. know, there are artists that message me from Barbados from Jamaica from all over yeah. I would love to um, collaborate with um, in Trinidad mm -hmm. with tourism and stuff like yeah, that yeah. because I want to do like classes 
to help creatives mm -hmm. and not only about their art but also to show them that it, it is a business yeah so you have to register it, you mm -hmm. have to pay your taxes right you, to, you know my mom is an accountant as well mm -hmm. so she helps me to track everything from my business so my goal is really to educate them and hopefully in the future where i stabilize myself to a, to a certain level mm -hmm. to help them to get opportunities and internships as well okay i feel like if you know they should really invest in creators I, I, I agree did it by myself uh, you know mm -hmm. like, with, with help along the way yeah and only when i started to achieve certain things mm -hmm. is when they're like whoa, whoa you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah 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 and i had to leave to expand uh, you know my horizon mm -hmm. so honestly and mainly to um help young girls in the industry mm -hmm. you know to yeah. how to deal with, with certain situations mm -hmm. and get their deals and you know yeah 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 it's, it's a lot you i bet you know <laughs> i bet <laughs> you don't it's not necessarily you could be a graphic artist you could work for nike you could I mean, art goes across the board. And I think what you said right there is, is, is more or less turning art into what a business, the business aspect of it. And yes. I, I feel as though, hope nobody don't take this no type of way, but like stuff, <laughs> stuff like art, right? Mm -hmm. There's a business aspect to it. And I feel as though stuff like that, we in Trinidad to, is a hustle. Is a get by, and they don't see the broader aspect of it, and what the world could learn from our little island and expressions from it. I, I don't think they see it like that. I mean, uh, there's so many layers. Mm -hmm. Like I, I want to show people that you could make a living. Yes, you exactly. Buy a car, you could buy a house. You could invest your money into other things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just using your creativity, mm -hmm. you know. But you have to do it the right way. Correct. And if you treat it like a business, like any other, exactly. you'll be fine. Correct. You know, because they, I mean, I have my lawyer, I have my manager, mm -hmm. you know, I have people now, because before I used to try to do it by myself. Yeah. And it, I cannot, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I cannot create and answer 50 messages and emails. Right. And, I mean, even when we were trying to correct, connect, yeah. I realized I was just, you know, all over the place. Mm -hmm. So now I know to put those things, um, in order mm -hmm. so that's why like when other artists message me i was like hey how serious you want to do this right right you know yeah and also to know your audience as well mm -hmm. my audience might be your audience correct correct you know yeah. they're, weird, they're different ways to skin the cat like they say <laughs> yeah 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 so that's my ultimate goal and and you know just to get the word out about my journey and stuff like that so people could take the chance yeah and not paint the perfect picture <laughs> because it's not perfect not easy. I like that. But I like when that. When the ball starts to get rolling, yeah, things will look nice. Nice. <laughs> you know, like how you freeze that day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Getting a, it's a little rough. Yeah. After you good. Alright, cool. Alright, Andrea. So, as Caribbean people, we are very, super, extremely proud of our culture and heritage, right? Generally, a lot of our lives are influenced by, by how we was brought up in the Caribbean. What role do you think has your, your Caribbean upbringing? played in developing your business model and growing your business model? Okay, I will say that now there are two sides. Okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. Um, Caribbean upbringing, coming here, you know, we generally, I knew that I need to work hard mm -hmm. because I'm from the Caribbean, I'm right. not from here. So certain opportunities that people will have right. as Americans, I know I don't, so I have to work triple times as hard, yeah, you know, yeah. and also me accepting the fact that I am different mm -hmm. because when I came here, I tried to fit in mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. my creativity right. and, and me, but I'm like, this is not me, you know, I'm not being authentic to myself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and everyone yeah. else. It's really me trying to um, acceptance, right. acceptance of my culture mm -hmm. and like, this is what you're gonna get. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And funny enough, my Caribbean history is what, you know, made me stand out mm. more. Yes, yes, yes. In, in you know, in America, because mm. there's so many different artists right, from yeah. all over mm -hmm. the world as well. So that sort of helped me, but also unlearning mm -hmm. the question. Yeah, yeah. 
Caribbean habits mm -hmm. because you know we have a culture of we're very laid back and cool and when it gets done it gets it's done, done yeah what not <laughs> but up here is get it mm -hmm. take nobody's, care of business nobody's waiting on you yeah. <laughs> you know what? yeah um to do what you gotta do mm. and if we give you a deadline you better meet that deadline mm. so it's like two different sides of the coin I'm yeah very proud of my culture and, and you know in any interview i represent yeah so like someone asks me but you know i could ever lose my that part of me and my accent and I was like, no. Yeah. How, how is that even possible? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is me and this is w what I do yeah. and how I am. So people are drawn to, to, that, yeah. to that. But the next side, no. I mean, <laughs> you know, and I'm, it has to do with a lot of discipline as well. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in Trinidad, we're very carefree. You it know, is what it is. We do what we do. We lie. We lie. You know, we, yeah. we, you know, carnival time. We fetch and go out until six, seven, or mm -hmm. whatever, and we in work. Yeah. An hour after, you know, I'm not young again. <laughs> do that. You know, it have times where. I'd be like, yo, you know, I can't make it. I yeah. can't meet you. Yeah. Because, you know, I have a deadline, you know, I have a show that I'm doing, and I know I have to do, you know, 10 pieces on whatnot. Right, yeah. And on top of which, I have to make sure that my mind is right. Mm -hmm. You know. Make sure them creative juices yeah. flow in. So that's why <laughs> I'm very strict about keeping positive people around me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And, and keeping that good energy. So. Discipline, making sure you know your goals, um, but still maintaining that Caribbean humbleness, yeah, and, and, and sweet side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I don't treat anyone any different, you know, we are, yeah, you know? okay, come over. I mean, I'm very Caribbean about who comes, over. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'm just like that, yeah, Carla's coming but, just yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> just, but you know, it's uh, just maintaining that because yeah. we do have a friendly disposition, oh, definitely, yeah, know? yeah. Um, so I don't really I treat anybody, everybody, is yeah, me. you know, anyone could walk up to me. Have a, have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Nice. Some might be, some might just stare at me. Yeah. <laughs> me up. Like, hey, I saw you. Okay, yeah. Why didn't you say hi? Yeah. You know. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. And that's a part of me I think that people like to. Right. But they're like, I don't know you so down to earth. Mm -hmm. Forget following, and that have nothing to do with a person. The person itself, yeah. You know, and just let them know that when you come to the Caribbean that's how it is yeah yeah so nice like that answer I like it yeah so as you being down to earth your work has been featured from Trinidad to neighboring cities and islands like New York Washington DC Philadelphia and Australia so yes, <laughs> there are very impressive like accomplishments so where is the one place you wish you could see a piece of art hanging and you could say to yourself, I've actually made it? I'm in Paris. Makes I sense. See, that's, that's City of love? That's where I want to go and there's love on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that, that part, mm -hmm. you know, probably Japan. Okay. I don't know, it's just everywhere. I, I don't feel like if anything is limitless though. Right. That's, just me, you know. Um, that person from Australia, another one from Sweden, they found me online. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And I keep telling people, you know, as well, mm -hmm. put out your best word. Put out your best word. Who cares? You know? Yeah. Somebody's going to see it. Trust me. Mm -hmm. How so, do you think that social media has influenced your art, though? Social media is the reason why I'm here. Because that's how the green room, um, the, the talent agency signed me. They found me from social media. Mm. Most of my things are found on social media. So it's like um, free advertising. Yeah. But I will say, do not get carried away with social media. Correct. You know? Yeah. Because, you know, 85% of it is lies. So just <laughs> try to, no, I'm just seeing people and living and the soft life and all that is cool. But it's but not actual life. Be, yeah, be realistic and don't, you know, think that you have to be perfect. Right. You just have yeah. to be you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because social media will make you feel like you're not doing good enough. Example, you know, 
I've learned not to focus too much on other artists. Right. Then you tend to feel discouraged, like you're not doing enough. And mm-hmm. it's not true. Because everyone have their path, mm-hmm. you know, and, and their level of success and pathways to that is different. Right. So I know now when to lock off, you know, and bring back and be consistent there. But, you know, I've heard of artists going into depression because of social media. Comparison is the thief to a fool. You yeah. gotta pull yourself back. Yeah. Pull yourself back. It's all good. So, yeah, social media is a great tool. Just know how to use it. Be consistent. You know, do your tags, whatnot. So, um, be authentic. Actually, three quarters of my, my opportunities came from social media. Everything. The whole Mark, my new manager, everything mm-hmm. came from there. So. But you know what, dog? You mentioned social. She brought up the question of social media, though. I feel as though like people forgot the original basis of social media mm-hmm. marketing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's a market. It's a put your business out there. It's a put your business out there for free. That's what it is. That that is what it's for. But now it's transcended into a whole completely different facade. But they still forget like. Creators like yourself, it's for marketing, it's I mean, to show and, and what I have. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Social media. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, yes, they have galleries, and of course, you do the groundwork because at any time, social media could shut down. Correct. But these are, this is where big art collectors find art. Mm-hmm. Where certain CEOs see me, and you know, I want this. and Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. It's the new wave. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Correct. I mean, I ain't mad. <laughs> the pandemic, that's, where, that's actually how I blew up because people were forced to sit down and pay attention. Pay attention now, yeah. They, had, they were forced right. to slow down. To slow down and yeah. watch. Mm-hmm. So that, that's when I was like, hey, creators, we up. Let's go. Make it happen. You know, let, let's make it happen. So everybody was on their post and game. I switched to um, offering like. Um, uh, prints and stuff like that yeah. because of course you have to change with your social climate as well correct so correct start to offer prints to sales mm-hmm. stuff like that so that's when people start to notice okay so like you're saying prints and social media because you're saying most of your work was found on social media how do you think like when it comes to like prints and social media like you know I can just screenshot your work off of Instagram and like blow it up and so they have, right now they many lawsuits going on with the, our friends in Japan that love to duplicate work and put it on jerseys and mm. make up fake pages acting like they're, you know, a, a black American woman and this and that. That's your risk you take though. Mm. The good thing is, um, because my work is textured, people love my original more mm. than my prints. You know, gotcha. so that's why you can say I can make a difference. So yeah, instead so, of just yeah. soft yeah. canvas, you have because something the, that you know it jumps up at you. You know, I think I brought yeah some pieces here too. So um, it's a, an uphill battle. You're not mm-hmm. gonna get as as much as there's good. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna get away from the, the bad. from the, the bad. bad. Mm-hmm. You know, and these people they were quick. I have a I have an artist friend of mine. I mean, as fast as he sent you know his lawyers and papers to them they shut down that start the next one a week after ah. like it's crazy yeah you know what i'm saying then they start to amazon they listen <laughs> pandora's so, box yeah open. you gotta it yeah. is what it is true you start to reinvent yourself so as you said you have some beautiful pieces here for us today so fans viewers I would like to introduce you to some of Angie's pieces. All right, stay tuned. So guys, we're here with Miss Andrea McKenzie and she's going to show us a couple pieces that she brought with her today, all about her mixed media unique art, all right? Andrea, tell us about this piece right here. So this 3D mixed media piece, mm-hmm. um, it's called Be Face. Okay. Um, I named her that because of her eyes. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's face and it stays into your soul. <laughs> so it's like a sculpture, but I added on, um, you know, gems mm-hmm. and all these different things. And I was actually talking to my dad and he designed 
a costume with these colouring years ago. So I kind of sort of mimic it. Yeah. In a sense, the blue represents like I picked the blue as the base yeah. because it comes from the Blue Devils okay. Carnival. You know, and these uh, this is like metals. So I stuck these metals onto it mm -hmm. and sat down with a tweeze and put everything bit by bit. On. So me asking a, a a question here, right? How long it took you to create a piece like this? It took a couple of weeks. Weeks, um, you say? Yeah. Mm. Constantly doing it. You know. I and mean, kind of wing it. I, you know, it's not like I draw out the pattern to yeah. do it. I just go with the flow. That's the juices and the creative energy. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I catch, I catch that. I mean, and it did mention it like a piece. It kind of replicates sort of a piece from your your, your father's carnival band. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll look at that as paying homage, in of a way, course. you know, definitely. Of course. Yeah. Be fierce. Be fierce. So yeah. what, what, um, how did you come up with this idea? Um, someone that contacted me for art, it's a show I did last year mm -hmm. for Art Master, I'm mm -hmm. actually going to New York right. to do a show with them. They asked me if I did 3D pieces and I was like, hmm, not really, but right. you know, I could see what will you know happen mm -hmm. if i do so i decided to try it out and everyone loved it yeah this is like a new wave so i may do like full mannequins full body stuff okay you know, i have a collection coming out to, to venture into this so it's something i thought of before mm -hmm. but i was really kind of procrastinating yeah yeah because i didn't know if it would be received right yeah um Good, but it was. Yeah. People loved it. So. Be fierce. Mm -hmm. Be fierce. Guys, make sure andreuniqueart.com. Be fierce will be there. <laughs> <laughs>
we would like to give you a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. And you can open it. Show the viewers. Show the viewers. Show them the vibe. Good news I have up inside here. Yes. What's it? I'm rooting for everyone. <laughs> bang, bang. bang. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So, Andrea, here at the Caribbean Network, we have a slogan, all right? And our slogan is, your network is your net worth. How do you see yeah. that? How do you see that impacting your brand and yourself? Well, um, like my following mm -hmm. on social media, I probably have, I think, 30,000 something connections on LinkedIn, 114,000 followers. So the trick in it is to really um, turn that into money. Right. <laughs> like, what's the use of having all these followers? Correct, correct. And you're not making money off of it. Correct. So really monetizing the art, posting it, you mm -hmm. know, being engaging with your following as well. You know, very much so, very much them, so, very much so. Um, training your audience, mm -hmm. you know, um, for a particular standard and stuff yeah price point mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. like that so they know what they're getting into gotcha. with your work yeah you know yes yes um, sometimes i may post uh reels mm -hmm. you know just showing them a little bit of the process piece by piece yeah yeah so yeah they could see it's time right it's, you know, yeah yeah stuff like that so Oh, awesome. Love your answer. Love, love it culminated. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I love Bring it. it together, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. So, Andrea, can you tell our audience how they can find you on social media or website? Well, uh, my Instagram is andreas.hot, right? Um, LinkedIn is Andrea McKenzie. Website is andreauniqueart.com. That's where you could find me. I also have a Facebook page. I really pay attention to that, but it's there. <laughs> You know, yeah. under Andre McKenzie. Yeah. So guys, you all have no reason not to go check out all her beautiful art. It's very unique, very original. When I say original, original. Go check it out. Show her that love, show her some support. You understand? Make sure you follow the Caribbean Net Worth on all social media platforms at the Caribbean Net Worth, or you can find us at thecaribbeannetworth.com. I'm your host, Shekina. I'm Benzo, and, and we, we are your hosts host for, for the Caribbean, Caribbean Network. Network. And now, it's time for the Caribbeanlingo word of the day. Yeah, so now it's time for the Caribbeanlingo word of the day. So, the Caribbeanlingo word of the day is goat mouth. Goat mouth. So, goat mouth is usually a jinx, an unfavorable outcome, some type of misfortune, you dig? So countries that normally use goat mouth is Trinidad, Jamaica, of course, and Grenada. So, anybody ever do goat mouth with you? Listen, I believe I have goat mouth, mm. so yeah, if right. you need good, good vibes. Good vibes. How about you, Andrea? You ever yeah. get goat mouth? Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you said it did the yes. Yeah. Okay. I so yeah. We've got other people, not me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And there you have it guys, goat mouth is our Carib lingo word of the day. So if you use that word in your island, drop your flags in the comments. If there's a specific word that you want to be featured here on this segment, send us a little lick in the DM, all right? We out. <laughs>
feel a cool, cool breeze. A nice, nice breeze. Fresh, fresh breeze. Caribbean breeze.